check one two one two. We live, baby. Come, come, come on. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. Okay. Yeah. Can you can you can you hear me now? Oh, let's go. <laughs> it's your boy Big Chu, the voice of the beat. You know what I won't blaze up. Come on, blaze up. It's a beat for me. Wow 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 wow
we'll get to it. Then we got Gorilla is over there advertising for Planned Parenthood. I keep telling y'all the genocide and eugenics is real via our own people. We got to watch our own people. Then we also got Angel Reese announces that she's going to the WNBA. She's going to enter the doggone WNBA portal. She's going to go ahead on and just call it quits and move around. And then we got Kodak Black reacting to people, somebody calling him Kodak Diddy or something or whatever. And I may or may not touch on toilet paper. I don't know. I think I did enough on toilet paper this morning on the Morning Joes. But, you know, it, it depends on the time because I won't be on here too long. You guys, also, again, please like the video. 183 likes, 297 people in the building. Please like the video. Hey, a bitch, they winning. Hey, my love. How y'all doing? I hope everybody's enjoying their Wednesday. I didn't know he was there either. She look, look, I didn't know. Let's get into the, the teacher, the teacher lady. Let's go get the teacher lady first. Let's start off with her. You know, we're gonna have to slow roll this thing. You know what I'm saying? Like the video, guys. Like the video. That's an easy and free way for y'all to support the dollhouse. Okay. Um, girl, yes, Diddy is an informant. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. See, they moved around from making it politicians that were informants, like, um, you know, allegedly Jesse Jackson and all of them. Now they're using rappers and entertainers and reality show people. And woo -doo -woo -doo -woo. <sighs> anyway, let me see. The town that teacher lives in is about 70% clear and 20% black. Sound about right. So they probably played a part in who complained about her. Yeah, you know, one thing about, let me tell you something. One thing about the clears, they don't pay about, they don't play about the education of their children. They don't play about that. See, Negroes don't care. Negroes is on, you know what I'm saying? They just be woot the woot running around, you know, on TikTok, getting their BBLs and whatnot. The clears don't play about that. So let's get into it. But shout out to everybody in the building. I appreciate each and every one of you guys. You guys are nothing short of amazing. Nothing short of amazing. Now let's go get <clears throat> this tea from the teacher girl. Now, don't get me wrong. The lady look young. You know what I'm saying? And maybe, I don't know, maybe that played a part. I don't know. But they say she ran there uh, with her ex-classmates, child. She over there being a rapper with her ex-classmates. I said, what? Oh, we also got to get into Amanda Seals crying again, girl. Amanda Seals, uh, <clears throat> she makes my head hurt. I think that's what it is. Amanda Seals makes my head hurt. And the, the more time goes by, the clearer she looks. I can see clearly now. The rain is gone. Oh, Cassie cooperating with the with the feds? Oh, girl, we got to get into it. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. We have to get into it. Cassie is cooperating with the feds. We're going to get into it. This just ends. Now, let's go get um, the lady, the, te the rapper lady, the teacher rapper lady. Let's go get the rapper lady and see what the lady had to see. Happy Wednesday. Happy Wednesday. Happy, happy Wednesday. You know what I'm saying? Uh, hump day, if that's what you want to call it or whatever the case may be. Let's go pull a rapper lady up, girl. The poor lady. Meanwhile, we got nine-year-old churn out here rapping about this, that, and the third. Girl, y'all got to be strong. I ain't mean to shut this tab. Not this one. Not yet, Angel. Not yet, Angel. We ain't on you yet. We gonna go over here. We ain't on you yet, Angel. Hold on. We coming back. We go. We need to go. Now, this the teacher lady, the rapper teacher lady. Look. Teacher of the month honors. And then two months later, she was fired. But it wasn't about anything she did in the classroom. She says a parent complained about her rap career, which was off the clock. By now, Drippin' Honey's music video, Drippin' 101, has been seen by tens of thousands across numerous social media platforms. And it combines two of her passions, rapping and some of the students she's taught. That's right, a U.S. history teacher who's moonlighting as a rapper. But last month, she was forced out of her teaching job, and it started with a parent's complaint. That's when the first meeting was with my dean and the principal, and they were just telling me, like, hey, um, a parent said that they see your social media and that you're a black influence because you're a rapper. Drippin' Honey's real name is Dominique Brown. She says that the parent continued to complain, even though the educator was named Teacher of the Month. Despite asking for a complaint in writing, Dominique says she never received it. And Dominique believes that she was discriminated against. 
I was like, hey, well, can we tell the parent to come in and see professionalism, see me in the classroom, see me after school, see me at all the games, see me dropping kids off every day, buying food, doing all these things. Can they come see me in my element before they try to say I'm unprofessional in it? Was there at any point anything that was brought up that said, your rap career may have the lyrics that you use may have been a bad influence on some of the students that you have. Well, the parents would just stay anonymous and she didn't really give too much detail on what she did or didn't like. And the school didn't give me too much detail either. Music is part of the culture. We from Motown. This is what we do. So it's not like it's unheard of. It's the culture. And when you, you look like me, you just understand it a little more better. That is not that I'm trying to deter these kids from stopping their dreams. In a statement, a spokesperson for Taylor Preparatory High School, which is a charter school, said they're aware of Brown's allegations, but student and employee privacy rights limit what they can say. The statement went on to say, quote, student well-being remains at the forefront of everything we do, and we will continue fostering a distraction-free teaching and learning environment focused on student success. If I was a horrible teacher, y'all would have dropped me the day it was a problem. You, did you ever feel that they were transparent enough for you? Absolutely not. If there ever was an opportunity, Taylor said, hey, look, we want you back. Would you consider it? Um, no, I just want this to be an example for them to do better. Dominique says that she's in the process of trying to seek out an attorney and take some legal action. In Taylor, I'm Brandon Hudson, Fox 2 News. The fall, Dominique Brown. All right. So you heard, um, yeah, I don't, I'm with you, Takara. I don't know. Let me tell you why. First of all, I'm split. And let me tell you why I'm split, y'all. Because on one hand, I understand the school. Because you being a teacher who's a rapper, who has a, a following or a social media presence, that can be a distraction to the children. This is morally. I don't know about legally yet. But... Legally, I feel like if it ain't in no type of paperwork that she can't do social media or anything like that, then the school is 100% in the wrong. So I'm, I'm kind of split on it. Also, I listened to some of them lyrics and what she was saying. Huge conflict of interest, baby. You can't be the teacher over there talking about he effing on me and woo -woo. you that, that, that don't go like that. You either got to be a rapper or a teacher. Now, it's one thing if you was over there just rapping about some regular stuff. Yeah, it sounded, Star Seed, it sounded like it was explicit. Yes, it does. I heard, I, that's why I had did like this. Because it sounded like she was over there talking about effing on a, a nigga and woo doo woo -do. You can't do that now, baby. You can't do that. Now, legally, if it is in, if it is not in her work contract, then legally, they're wrong. Legally, they're wrong. Morally, I understand where he's coming from. Yes, like right. There would have to be a code of conduct. It would have to be something in writing that says, hey, girl, if you're going to be a teacher over here, you can't do X, Y, and Z. You know what I'm saying? But again, I feel like this. Why she got to lose her job? Wendy Ostefo still got her job at Johns Hopkins. And didn't she all get a drink splashed in her face by Mia? I'm just asking the question, you know, but you got to understand too. She works for a charter school. That is a public, a charter school is owned by the state. It's owned by the federal government is what it's owned by. You don't, you know what I mean? Like you just don't get to do all of it. No, she wasn't rapping about it. Lady Libra said, I thought she was rapping about history. Uh-uh. She was talking about effing a nigga and bitches mad and woot the woot the woot. And that's another thing. Good find, Simone. She got former students in the video. Bitch, you lucky they just fired you. You lucky they ain't buck one of them churning up to go down there and say you was over there messing with them. You had to be in jail. It's just too, it's it's too, I wouldn't, I would never do, I would, that's, that's it, for lack of better terms, for me, that's, that's what, what they call shit and where you sleep. I can't do it. Mm-mm. Because now that the, the churn out of school, you got them in the video. I'm looking at you sideways, bitch. What are you doing with these churn? I don't know. That, like I said, I'm split. I'm only split in the sense of morality and legally. Legally, if it ain't in no paperwork, they can't fire her. Legally. 
morally, I wouldn't want her teaching my child. I'm sorry. I'm scared, bitch. Why you got them churn in your goddamn video? I'm scared. In 2024, I'm scared. Anyway, let's move on. Uh, ma'am, you I know you don't want your job back, and that's fine because nobody else is gonna hire you, ma'am. So don't worry about it. Only thing I'm saying is with at the moment you spent four years down at the college, you should have asked yourself, do I want to go in debt to become a teacher, or do I really want to follow my um my 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 passion, which is the rap? That's what you should have did. Because now you just went into debt and you just got fired. Bitch, you can't even pay the shit back. You know what I'm saying? I hope your rap career takes off. I, listen, Felicia, when I first started, I was about to win Mill 4. I was about to win Mill 4. Then as I, I said, wait a minute. I listened to the lyrics. Then it got X churning. Uh-uh. Girl, go lay down. Them people, matter of fact, you ain't, I ain't got to tell you to go lay down. The people just told you to go lay down. The former student thing is probably why my brother was a teacher and girls would try to add him on social. And I think until it's five years after they graduate, if they still are teachers so far. So for her, yes, absolutely. She got former students all in the videos like they all did it. No, no diddy. Girl, ma'am, go lay down. Uh, I, you should have just followed your first mind and not even did all of that. That's what I would have did, girl. I would say, fuck all this. I'm about to put my, I'm about to bet on me. And be a rapper, and that's just that. Let's move on. So, um, let's go get Angel Reese since we had her up anyway. Let's go get Angel. Shout out to Angel Reese. Angel Reese has decided that she is going to enter into the WNBA draft. She is done in college. Honestly, if you ask me, I think that was the smartest thing for her to do. You can make your money and play. You know what I'm saying? Because, girl, you done got your ring. Ain't nothing else to do at this point. That's, that's just my opinion, but shout out to Angel Reed. Let's go get her, talk about her journey and how she's entering to the WNBA draft or whatever. I still feel a way, like I said. I still feel a way because Ice Cube offered the clear girl a $5 million deal. You couldn't offer Angel nothing, but this is y'all hero, huh? Girl, bye. A degree, a national championship. you Barbie, Angel Reese. All right, let's do this. Four years, where to begin? To my family, my mom, my MVP. To Baltimore and the Terps. To LSU, my PMAC home. To my teammates and coaches, managers and trainers. To God and his blessing of a life. Thank you. Aww. All of this is because of you. Thank you for loving me and supporting me in everything I do. For standing by me at my lowest, for making every second of the past four years a dream come true. I'm leaving college with everything I ever wanted. A degree, a national championship, and this platform I could have never imagined. This is for the girls that look like me, that's gonna speak up on what they believe in. It's unapologetically you. To grow up in sports and to have an impact on those coming next. This was a difficult decision, but I trust the next chapter because I know the author. Mm. Bye you Barbie, out. I like that. Go ahead on Angel. Shout out the angel. Let me just say this. Um, angel, you deserve it. I know the rumors was going around saying you was failing, but it couldn't be that because you said you're getting a doggone degree. You know what I'm saying? Angel, I don't know why the difficult the decision was difficult, girl. K your ass about them people institution and go get this money. You can fuck around and get hurt and don't make nothing, girl. Go, I am proud of you, Angel, the Bayou Barbie, even though you're from Baltimore. Baltimore, y'all got to win on this one. I told you, y'all only get two wins from me for now. Uh, 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 Bayou Barbie, and I gave y'all Mario. That's it. Baltimore, you know, y'all, that's all I'm going to give y'all. Mario in the Bayou Barbie. That's it. We'll have to discuss other things for, for y'all, Baltimore. Okay, but you know, 
at the end of the day, I think she's an amazing young talent. She's a beautiful girl. She's going to go off to do wonderful, ama amazing things. And I'm here for it. Shout out to the Bayou Barbie. You know, she deserves it. She deserves it. She deserves it. She deserves. She deserves. She deserves it. You know what I'm saying? Well, Nas, I'm sorry. Now, I can only give y'all but so much. I can't give y'all too much, Baltimore. I gave y'all Mario and Angel Reese. Let's put up another name and we'll have a meeting. Okay? Nas, put up another name and we'll have a meeting discussing if, you know what I'm saying? But we got to have a meeting. We can't just go with the move. We're going to have to have a meeting before we just jump off the porch with giving Baltimore another W. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to be honest. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Shantae Moore, we'll have to have a meeting about her. We'll have to have a meeting. We need a meeting. We, we need a meeting now. We need a meeting. But we'll discuss it, you know? Um, let's get in. Let's move on. Now, first of all, I have this question. Hold on. Let me see if I still got it on my own. Um, what you call them? Because this is something I want to ask the people. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Let me go get it. Let me go get it. I want I'm trying to see something right quick. I'm trying to see something. If I find this video, then I really have another question for another group of people on here. Uh, hold on, let me go get it. I have a question. No cap. Hold on. Oh, there you go. All right. It, do I have anybody in here from Philly? Do I have any of the Philly people in here? I need, if you're on here and you're from the place that they say, even though what we do is wrong, I need you up here. I have a question. And I remember, I didn't say it. This is what they said. You guys like the video. I appreciate it if you guys would like the video. If anybody in here from Philly, I have to ask y'all a question. Um. Mm. Is anybody from, I see a couple of, okay, Philly in here, Philly in here. Well, so I don't know who pissed off Charleston White, but whoever it was, Charleston had some words for y'all. Now, I'm going to just go ahead on and play the video because I didn't say it. This is what Charleston said. I'm just trying to see something. You know what I'm saying? I need y'all on here to explain this part right here. Hold on. They're saying you can't go to Philly. I ain't, I ain't, I ain't never been to Philly. I've been to Philly one time. I rode through Philly, me and a producer, me and a promoter named Big Reed. I sold out a venue in Atlantic City, New Jersey. I went through Philly and said I'd never come back. The streets was dirty. They got trash everywhere. They don't have no swimming pools. They don't have no playgrounds with color. It was all concrete fences and tore down houses and trash. And it was rat infested, drug infested, and the children didn't even smile. I said, this is evil. How can Philly, when you look at the streets, they don't even have trash pickup to clean up the streets. The kids' minds is cluttered. The school districts is poor. The pregnancy rate is, is low. I, I looked at the statistics and I said, how can anybody thrive in Philadelphia? So why would a nigga want to go to Philly? Everybody dying and nobody's thriving there. Nobody, especially not the children. That's a cursed place. And I go where the grass is green. The grass ain't green. Huh? Black people not progressing. They're not prospering. They're not elevating in Philly. It's mostly angry, violent, drug addicted, mental health people suffering from the conditions that Philadelphia breeds. So why would I want to go there? Why? They don't have nothing for somebody that got a strong mind and want to progress and they love children because when you go to Philly, you will leave their crying when you see the conditions of their kids. Mm. It should be against the law to even have to make a baby in Philadelphia if you can't afford it. I swear all you got to do is go I wrote Philly, is you on here? Philly, is you on here? Now, you know, Let's be fair. Whoa, ho, ho. let's be fair. Um, Philly, I thought New York, New York, I 
thought they was the only concrete jungle. According to Brother Charleston, he said, y'all ain't got no trees, no grass, and it's nothing but concrete, and it's a jungle. What happened? Philly, what is going on? What done happened to y'all out there in Philly? He said all the churn don't have no 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 uh future. He said he said the black people is is yeah he did, yeah yep he did say that part. He said no swimming pools. Y'all ain't got no swimming pools. Do the churn know how to swim? Or they gotta go outside in the rain and play? Y'all got fire hydrants? Philly. Oh my God. Okay, somebody say y'all got trees. Y'all got trees? What? I thought New York was the only place with the concrete jungle. But see, I'm my bad. New York got concrete jungle where dreams are made of. Charleston said y'all don't even have no dreams out there. What is happening in Philly? Now, China said they got hella trees, but no pools. Now, this is crazy. What is happening in Philly? How y'all got all them trees and no water? How the trees is growing? Girl, they say all y'all got is cheese steaks, girl. You, you can't make this shit up. That's why y'all eating cheese out the can. I get it now. Now one plus one is equal in two. That's why y'all shake the can and get y'all cheese out of there and put it on a cheese steak. Oh my God. This is a national emergency. Why y'all didn't tell me we could have put out a dog on a, 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 a PSA or something to come help y'all. Oh my God. No wonder Meek Mill's nappy head ass used to look like that when he was back in the day with them braids nappy like that. Oh. Mm, 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 mm. Mm, mm, mm. You know, Philly, I've never stopped in Philly, but I remember going up to Atlantic City after Katrina. Me and my grandma, my auntie, her mother in law, we all drove up the uh, Atlantic City from Chicago. And you know, I ain't lying. You got to go through Pennsylvania. Stop me when I start lying. And I remember driving up around there, girl. And you know what I'm saying? We didn't go in there, though. You know, my auntie was like, oh, no, do, 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 do. We just going to keep going. You know what I'm saying? But now I understand. Philly. Even though what we do. No wonder Big Willie from Philly left and never came. Even though what we do. No wonder... Freak Mills, Meek Mills named his album The Dream Chasers because he had no dreams in Philly. Oh, Lord. Even though what we do. Oh, my God. No wonder Jilly from Philly was walking around talking about, I'm going to take my earrings off and get some Vaseline. Ain't nothing to look forward to but a fight. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. No wonder Jaguar writes Bush is a little bit matted. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. No wonder Kevin Hart is so little, even though what we do. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Now all the dots are connecting, Philly. I can't believe why y'all didn't tell me something. We could have pulled together and did a GoFundMe or something. Oh, my God. This is a state of emergency. Philly, y'all should have called me. Philly. Oh, my God. I thought it was all due to the cheese out the can, but the whole time, it ain't got nothing to do with the cheese in the can. It's Philly. Oh, my God. Even though what we do. Oh, no wonder Freeway made that song. Even though what we do. Oh, my God. Philly, I'm sorry. I feel like I neglected y'all. You know what I'm saying? Philly, if you're on here, I'm sorry, y'all. I didn't know. We didn't know. We didn't know. We sorry. You know what I'm saying? We sorry. We didn't know. We, we didn't know. <sighs> y'all remember when, when Will Smith was bent over with the arch in his back? Oh. 
even though what we do is wrong. Oh my God. Everything is, it's all starting to come together now. You know what I'm saying? Oh, dream chasers. It makes sense. They don't have dreams in Philly. They don't, the children are not allowed to have dreams. Y'all ain't have to worry about Freddy Krueger or nothing. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh gosh. Well, you know, Philly, I'm sorry for neglecting y'all. We got it, y'all. You guys, if you're on here and you want to support Philly, we're going to have to come together and put our little coins together. We got to we gotta at least get Philly some dreams, okay? We have to, at the very least, we have to supply Philly with dreams. Now, I don't know how we're going to do it, but, um, yeah, we got to do something. We got to get together, pool together our resources for Philly. Uh, hashtag say Philly. Hashtag save philly that's what we gonna do for the day hashtag save philly even though what we do is wrong and that's why they do so much wrong because ain't no right in philly oh girl i can't believe this this is crazy girl hashtag save philly no even in the tv show they pull will from phil from philly they even made they even said in the tv show we cannot have a positive environment in philly make the song where he said west philadelphia born and raised girl please you're moving with your auntie and uncle in bel Air. at least will mama want it better for him girl this is crazy even though what we do, oh girl, get it off of here. I'm sorry, Philly. Philly, I'm sorry, y'all. I didn't know. I didn't know that was on me. My bad. I did not know. I did not know. I'm sorry. We're going to pool together our resources, though. We're going to get y'all some dreams. That way, nobody else got to come up and say they dream chasers. You know what I'm saying? We're going to get y'all. Y'all ain't got no playgrounds neither. Oh my God. No wonder the children is out here. Oh God. Jesus. We got to put together a list of things that Philly needs. They need playgrounds. They need grass. Somebody said they got a couple of trees, but we, we need to send somebody out there to, to survey that. Uh, they need grass, dreams, pools, playgrounds. What else they need, girl? We need to do something now. And we're going to have to put, it, put together a list and prioritize what's the most important. Okay? God, Jesus. Mm-mm-mm. Mm-mm-mm. Philly, I'm sorry. I didn't know. I promise you, if I would have known, if I would have knew, it would have been different. I promise you. I promise you. I swear to God. It would have been different. I didn't know. Ooh. Let's move on from Philly, girl. Anyways, let's go get um Glorilla with this Planned Parenthood, girl. Is Glorilla from Philly? Where Glorilla? No, she from Tennessee. Thank you, Lord. Jesus Christ. We couldn't have no more on Philly. Philly can't bear no more. Philly don't have enough bike to bear anymore. Oh, Lord, Dr. Umar from Philly. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Dr. Umar from Philly. No wonder he's been scamming for that school for, oh, God. That's why he's making up the school. He's trying to buy him some dreams. Oh, my God. Why? Oh, listen. This all, it's writing itself. I didn't, you know what I mean? Oh, my God. No wonder he been trying to build a school for 10 years. He ain't never been to a school. <gasps> oh, my God. This is, this, is, this is deeper than we thought, you guys. We're going to have to pull our resources together. This is not okay. We, this, is, this, is bigger, this is deeper than rap. This is deeper than rap. They just got dirt bikes. Sound about right. Yeah, Solo. That's all I seen. That's all I seen was dirt bikes. That's all they got. And they probably stole them. You know what I'm saying? Even though what we do is wrong. Shout out to Philly, man. Y'all, y'all. you know, to, normally I say don't clog up the prayer lines. But tonight, we gonna, um, we gonna make an exception. You guys, keep Philly in your prayers. Please. Please, Lord, keep filling your prayers. Y'all can clog up the prayer line for Philly tonight. Y'all gonna have to keep Philly in your prayers. They say dirt bikes with no dirt. Oh, my God. Oh. No wonder they ride up and down the middle of the street. They ain't got no dirt. Oh, my God. I think this is worse than I thought. Oh my God. 
<sighs> That's why they don't have no real cheese, cause <laughs> they don't have soil to for the cows to eat and make cheese. <sighs> This is a lot for me to take in, Philly. I'm sorry. I've been making fun of y'all, and I didn't know. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh. Mm -hmm. Let's move on. Let's keep Philly in your prayers, y'all. Keep Philly in your prayers. Ain't a cow in sight. No wonder they got to get their cheese out the can. Girl, Jesus Christ. Keep Philly in your prayers, y'all. Clog up the prayer line tonight for Philly. We're going to have to do that. We're going to have to clog up the prayer line for Philly tonight now. Shit. This is ridiculous. I didn't know. But one thing about our people, we resilient. That's right. They went and stole them dirt bikes with no dirt, girl. That's, that's That goes to show you a nigga going to make a dollar out of 15 cents. Do you hear me? A nigga is going to create a dream where a dream can't be created or he going to chase it. Them niggas went down to the nearest uh, 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 auto store, a uh, uh, dirt bike store, and they probably ransacked, ransacked them people shit to go get them dirt bikes to ride on the street because they ain't got no dirt. Lord have mercy. Resilient? Talk about resilient. Lord have mercy. But um, keep them in y'all prayers. You know what I'm saying? Y'all keep feeling in y'all prayers. I had no idea. I had no clue. Shout out to Philly. Oh, Helene, you just moved out? Oh, girl, you made it. You made it out. Helene said she just moved out of there. Girl, thank you, Lord Jesus. You don't always come when we want you, but you're always on time. Helene made it out, y'all. Put, put the prayer hands in the, in the chat. Somebody made it out. Put the prayer hands in the chat. Somebody made it out. Shout out to Helene. Helene said she made it out. Jesus Christ. That's, you know, that <sighs> you could have been a prisoner of war, Helene, but you made it. But God, but God, oh, let's move on. We got to get into something else because this is, this is taking a big toll on me. I can't. Let's move on. Even though what we, and I'm, when I say it, it's going to hit different, you know, even though what we do is wrong. Let's move on. Shout out to Philly. Shout out to Philly. We're going to get y'all some cows so y'all can stop eating the cheese out the can. We're going to get y'all some cows. We're going we gonna, to we gonna find some grass so we can get y'all some cows. Because no, no person should be eating cheese out the can. That can't be safe. You know what I'm saying? Let's move on. So Glorilla, let's get Glorilla up here. Glorilla, um, you guys like the video. It's only 444 likes. Y'all need a commercial break. That's what it is. That, that, and that'll break up the monotony of the Philly prayers. Uh, hashtag said Philly. But before we hashtag and say Philly, we're going to go ahead on and get these likes up. Because y'all playing on my top. Go ahead on and get these likes up so I can get up out of here now. I ain't got time. Come on now. Get up. Come on now. Do that now. You, that's the least you could do now. Shit, what a damn video. Can you hear me now? Oh, let's go. Now, it's your boy, Big Chew. The voice of the beat. You know what I want. Blaze up. Come on, Blaze. It's a beat for me. Wah, 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 you know, I just thought about it as the music was playing. I was really hoping that this uplift y'all spirits since we found out what's going on over there in Philly, the third world country inside of America. And as as Charleston White was describing no trees and no dirt and all of that, the only thing kept coming to my mind was in the arms of an angel, 
you will find me. For 25 cents, you can sponsor a family. In the arms of an angel, you will find in your dreams. That's what I was thinking. You know what I'm saying? I know none of them churn in at that graduated school. You know how the rest of the uh, the Negroes were saying, I believe I can fly. I don't think they said that at the Philly graduations. I don't think they said that. There's no way them churn believe they could fly if they couldn't dream. If I can see it, them churn in the Philly can't see it. Oh Lord. Oh, let's move on. Let's move on. Let's move on. This is bad. And I'm, you know, my prayer, I'm praying for y'all tonight, Philly. Y'all going to be in my prayers. I'm adding y'all to the prayer list tonight. Let's move on. So Glorilla is going to be the new face of Planned Parenthood. You know, the the clear woman, Margaret Singer, who said, I want to practice eugenics by giving these heifers down in the hood, especially in Philly. Oh, my God. A uh, 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 bird control and all of that and do 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 be do. Look a big glow. Now she listen. First of all, let me say this, y'all. This is not by coincidence. This was done on purpose. Glorilla is a plant. I keep telling y'all that y'all don't want to hear me though, because y'all like that whole to be saying certified chicken fried fried rice. This that do 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 blah 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 blah. blah. Y'all don't want to believe this heifer is a plant. She is a plant sent here for the further destruction of the black community, in particularly, in, in particularly, I'm sorry, the black woman. Now she over here uh, pre promoting Planned Parenthood. Let's go get her. She on, she on uh, Uncle Shay Shay. Look. Do you get concerned about guys trying to trap you? Because like guys always always wonder about, you know, especially once you become somebody, mm -hmm. you always got to worry about the pitfalls or, you know, a hey, trying to, are you, do you worry about stuff like that? Do you, do, do females that are like here, like you are, uh -huh. do they worry about the same things like men worry that are here? How we can get trapped? How can girls get trapped? <laughs> you know how. I got, I'm a, just... I got a membership at that place. <laughs> <laughs> Damn! <laughs> I don't play like that. You don't play like that. I don't play like that. Okay. Damn. I only know I gotta. I gotta. I gotta hey, <clears throat> I gotta shake this one off. Damn. So let me ask you this: Do you get concerned about guys trying to trap you? So basically, what she's saying is she's an advocate and a poster child for abortions. She's going to make it cool for the young black women when they get pregnant to go ahead on and get rid of the child. This is your queen, Glorilla. Glorilla has been sent here by way of a uh, of, uh, musical genocide to poison our race. She's a horrible person because she's only doing it for money. She's on here talking about women can't get trapped because she got a membership down at the Planned Parenthood. Well, Glorilla, everybody don't want to go down to the Planned Parenthood and have these folks uh, extract their child and allegedly say it ain't no more alive and then who knows what they had. Everybody not on that type of time. But she's making it cool to go down to the Planned Parenthood. But this is not surprising. The first song she came out with, once she talked, once she had the Hennessy and, and, and they were talking about how they... At what point are y'all going to open that eye, that third eye? Y'all need to go out in the sun. That's what it is. Go out in the sun. Let the sun nourish you so you can open that third eye. Because y'all not even seeing it. And they over there on Club Shay Shay, who I believe, like somebody said in the chat, is a plant too. But she over there on his show talking about, oh, yeah, yeah, shit. Women can't get trapped. I got... I got membership at Planned Parenthood. Remember they was trying to um to uh get Meg the Stallion by giving her this award that she didn't ask for or whatever? They found them one. They found them a duck. Here's the duck. Here's the duck.
them people trying to them people are trying to lower our population by any means necessary because their population is dwindling by the day and you know what's worse about it it ain't even the the, the scheme that ty set up from them that to get us fucked up you know what messes me up the most the fact that our people are active participants in the destruction and the demise of our own people due to a dollar bill bitch this is why them people look at us the way they look at us right here because there's always one willing to throw the whole damn generation away if you give them a good coin. But let, this is the gag, Glorilla, Sexy Red, Christian Rockhead. You know, all you hoes that's out here selling your ass, your mouth, your mind, and, your, and everything else for some money. You ain't going to die with it. Your churn ain't going to have it when you leave. They give you temporary money. And right before it's time for you to get up out of here, if they don't get you out of here first, they're going to take the money back. So all of this is for nothing but yourself, you selfish bitches. I said what I said. They asked me why I don't like this little hoe, this little Ratcliffe looking ass hoe. I tell y'all all the time. Oh no, not glow, voo. Not go. Yes, glow. Yes, glow. She ain't shit. She's selling your churn, you and your drunk, your grand churn up the road for a check. Fuck Glorilla. And I said what I said. And I'm not taking it back. I'm not taking it back. I'm not. Said what I said. And I'm not taking it back. That's a dirty bitch. Let's move on. Let's go get, uh, before we get, let, let's just go get Stevie J. And then after this, we rolled in the rumble. Let's go get Stevie J. So Stevie J went, uh, to the shade room, I guess. I don't know if he was on the shade room, but he was over there talking about how it was during the raid. Now, Stevie J, we all, all of us think that you're gay. Like, gay, gay. Like, if gay was a person, your name is on it. You know what I'm saying? So, Stevie, what was you doing at the compound? Who was doing the bending? After that, I forgot. After that, we're going to get into this Cassie thing. But, Stevie, was you bending over when the people kicked down the door? We don't know. Let's just go see now. Let's just go see. Let's see Stevie's account of what happened, okay? Stevie is gay. No shade, and nothing wrong with it, but, you know. I was working in the studio. I was sitting outside the studio door. And I heard a big boom. Now, mind you, before we get into this, I'm, I'm, I'm not a spring chicken, even though I look fly here and stuff. But I've witnessed some historical events of, of excessive force, but none like this since um, Saddam Hussein or El Chapo or Pablo Escobar, even. Even Osama bin Laden, I heard a big boom. So I'm thinking like, you know, a lot of people do work on the island all day long. So I'm figuring someone drops the materials. Heard it again. Turn my head, I'm hearing do, 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 do. Armored vehicles, three big armored vehicles come. Dudes jump out, I got 50 dots on my shirt. Screaming, yo, get on the f ground. I'm like, yo, really? I'm the only one here. Took me, I was, I was, uh, I was at his crib working in the studio. I was sitting outside the studio door and I heard a big boom. Now, mind you, before we get into this, I have what someone does in their bedroom, that's what they do. I don't got nothing to do with that. I'm just here to say that I've never seen my man doing anything foul like they talking about. None of it. The, all of it. I, I mean, I, you know. I, I've never seen it. I've known him for 29 years. If someone does in their bedroom, that's what they do. I don't yeah. got nothing to do with that. Cap, 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 cap. First of all, what is you doing down at the Diddy camp? First and foremost. Secondly, Stevie, you said you ain't never seen nothing like this since Osama bin Laden. Was you there? But what was you doing down at the studio, nigga? When, what, what? And then he won't say, I ain't never seen nothing inappropriate. You a motherfucking lie. Because we done seen that and we ain't been to the Diddy camp. We done seen that on a whim. Out on a limb. When, remember Kevin Hart was doing that interview and they had the dildo on the bed. This nigga lined his ass off. And listen, let me tell you something. Not just him. That goddamn um Mace. That nigga too. Which nigga voo? That nigga there. That nigga Mace. That nigga knows some shit, too. He just trying to separate himself and want to act like he on the other side. Nigga, you done seen and did something to become Diddy's right-hand man like Stevie. Stevie ain't the only one doing the bending over here. Stevie is not the only one doing the bending.
girl. Stevie, you gay. And ain't nothing wrong with it, but I just want to see that part. Moving on, let's get to Cassie. Cassie is co cooperating with the feds. Now, let me say this, y'all. It is when you have an NDA, that is for you not to defame the person on a public platform, interview, woo -woo -woo. when it comes to criminal cases, NDAs go out the window. They don't matter. So the, the, the headline says, Cassie is reportedly cooperating with the feds in investigating against, an investigation, I'm sorry, against Diddy. It says, uh, according to TMZ, Cassie is cooperating with the federal investigation against Diddy along with other individuals that sued him. The outlet says Cassie has been in talks with the feds for several weeks and that the timing would be would place Cassie's conversations with them before the raids on Diddy's home. So you they so they alluding to the fact that whatever Cassie told them, people got them over there to um get Diddy out. It says, as we previously reported, Cassie filed a lawsuit against Diddy back in November where she accused him of R and abuse. The suit was later settled, but with unpublicized terms. So, Cassie, what y'all think about this? What y'all think about this? What do you guys think about this? Cassie is spilling the teas. They're alluding to the fact that some Cassie told them was the reason why they knocked down the doors down there and, and Stevie had to pull his pants up. Thoughts? I think shout out to Cassie. Let's get this nigga up out of here. Um, I know he came out talking about y'all got to pick a side and woo the woo the woo. Let me see if I can find that. Talking about, uh, if you with him, you got to say it out loud. If not, you got to pick a side because when he come back, ain't no coming back. I told y'all niggas. I told y'all niggas, ain't no coming back. Ain't no coming back. You're not coming back from this, Diddy. These people are going to bury you. You're done. So I don't know why people started picking sides. You got Floyd Mayweather slow ass. He done got popped upside the head too many times. You know what I'm talking about? Well, you know, um, I just, that's a black man. And even if it was my daughter, then, you know, she made the choice and woo -thoo, woo -thoo. you know, these niggas, you know what I'm saying? The niggas that's supposed to be the leaders of the so-called community, them type niggas. Um, but Diddy had put Drew a lot in the sand and said, you either going to say you on my team or you against me. And when I come up, bitch, it's up and it's stuck. But I'm over here saying, bro, you not coming back from this, bro. It's a wrap. It's a wrap. It's done. You're done. We're done. There's no more. You know what I mean? We're done. I'm trying to see if I can find that video. Is this it? Let, since we on here, let's go get Kodak crazy ass. Girl, look at Kodak. Look at Kodak when the people tell him uh, he the Kodak, he the, uh, Kodak did it. Look, look at Kodak, girl. Look at Kodak. Kodak look like Florida Diddy now. Ella Mayo. You gotta be <laughs> You gotta be You heard me? No Diddy. Take that. Take it. <laughs> I'll smack me. Elderly I even might kill me a kid, but I ain't raping. I mean, you know, I ain't kill me a baby, but I ain't raping. I ain't doing that. Absolutely not. No, nah, I'm not. Absolutely not. See that camera up there? See y'all. So I am just trying to swing through this. None of that. You heard Oh, me? yeah, nah. And you got to go got, for me, too. Uh -uh. I, got, I got a zillion security. Yep. You got a billion security. Oh, yeah, nah. So um, you can't get through uh, us. Uh-uh. And Absolutely, he a, not. And he a real stumper. Yeah, nah. Uh -huh. I wouldn't. Even, you ain't even. You right here. If you want a real stumper, that's a real bloody man, right here. Call that look like Florida Diddy now, Ella Mayo. You gotta be. You gotta be. First of all, Kodak is high as the cost of living. First of all, let's start that first. Kodak is as high as the cost of living. Number one. Number two, nigga, you was already illiterate before being high as the cost of living. What is you saying? Can somebody from the 305 tap in and translate? I don't understand what's happening at this point. Number two. Number three, who is the clear? Don't they always keep a clear person on side of them? Don't they? A. Miller says she don't speak mush mouths. We need a translator, girl. Who the clear? They, they, don't, don't they keep them a clear one, don't they?
Mm-mm-mm. Oh. You know, I ain't gonna lie, y'all. I haven't been able to really get back to the groove ever since. In the Look at Willie from day 26. You know, my homegirl slept with him. Look. Diddy situation. And that's what y'all see me. He talking about how Diddy owe them money. Duh, Diddy owe everybody money. But I remember my friend. I ain't going to say her name. We not friends no more. But she had smashed him and his wife had called her and was like, you fucking with my husband? And she said, yes, ma'am. And he said, and she said, that's my husband. And he ain't got no money. He broke. And he be having a woo the woo the woo, you know what I'm saying? And he ain't got, you know, type shit. And my friend was like, girl, I just want the fuck. I ain't care about all that. The fuck? I, that's just a personal story. I didn't say her name, so hopefully she not on here. But you know what I'm saying? That happened in real life, you know? But let's get back into it. What you talking about? I was like, you know, some of the stuff was making me laugh. I told you about stuff that made me laugh. And uh, shit, I was just like, you know, hey. But I didn't know that, you mean... They was going to take it and say, Willie Taylor says that day 26, Diddy didn't pay them their money. I'm like, man, yeah, no. Y'all know that they ain't pay us our money. We ain't got to discuss that. Shit. We know that. And that's what I'm trying to say in the video. Look, I do want my money. It's true. I want my money, but it's a lot of shit going on right now. So handle that. <laughs> handle that. I ain't been looking for it this long. I ain't looking for it right now. I am. I want my shit. I mean, I'll never let y'all think that I don't want it because I do. But, you know, that's why I meant with her. I hope everybody understands it's jokes, because it really just jokes. It's not, I don't want to laugh at nobody while they're going through this stuff. I know this is incredibly uh, a horrific time, you know, for them. So I definitely don't want to be on that type of stuff. And that was only given because somebody asked me just how you all are saying stuff right now. It came straight like this. What do I feel about the Diddy situation? And that's what I gave, you know. It's my money and I want it now. No, no, <laughs> You know, that's how I feel about it. I be feeling like David Chappelle. Like, I don't know the nigga can pay us our money. Okay, wait a minute. She knows, says, Jaguar said, did it pop boat Willie in Q? You know, it's funny you say that. Let me go get it. It's funny you say that because I seen a video of one of the boys in the group talking about how you got to get fucked to get your money. And Willie was looking crazy. Y'all see that? Y'all see that? Hold on, girl. I know I ain't tripping. The boy in the group said that. He said the only people he said some people get fucked, and I'm not about to get fucked. He said, but that's the only way you're going to get Here you go. Here you go. I ain't bullshitting. Look. People sign up to get fucked. Hold on. Or I'm not with anybody really agree with me because... You know, certain people sign up to get fucked. Certain people, if you're gonna keep it real, certain people sign up to do the job of paying their rent that way. Right. You know, I didn't sign up for that. I felt like my talent was enough. <laughs> so now that four years later that I have experience and seeing, not putting anyone's business out because you know what you're doing, your personal hey, let me bed, take it up. or, or I'm not anybody it's really right real here. Me because. You know, certain people sign up to get fucked. Certain people, if you're gonna keep it real, certain people sign up to do the job of paying their rent that way. Right. You know, I didn't sign up for that. I felt like my talent was enough. <laughs> so now that four years later that I have experience in seeing, not putting anyone's business out because you know what you do in your personal bed uh, is whatever you do. Uh, <laughs> but as far as me, um, when I go to an appearance. I want to get paid for that parents. So if we never or I'm not hey, anybody I'm really in the room. Hold the front door. It's cute. Now they say Jaguar said Willie and Q was getting fucked like they ugly. Is Q the one talking about people signing up to get fucked and he was a, the one doing the bending? No way. That's cute. I don't remember all the other niggas. I just remember Willie. For real? Girl, y'all lying to me. Or I'm not with anybody really agree with me because, oh my God. you know, certain people sign up to get fucked. Certain people, if you're going to keep it real, certain people sign up to do the job of paying their rent that way. Who else got fucked? Question. Question. Tell me what you feel about me. Oh. <gasps> 
What? Q was with Dawn. They said Dawn called him with a man, girl, with a nigga, a bitch, nigga, or a nigga, bitch. Oh my God. Don't really look guilty, though. Willie really look guilty as hell. Oh my God. Diddy knocking him down like, like bowling pins. Oh my God. No. Cupid doesn't lie. But you won't know unless you give it a try. Them niggas too. Oh Lord, this is a lot of stuff coming at me all at once. I already got Philly on my mind. I can't do all of this now. <sighs> mm 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 mm. Oh, Lord, this might be enough for the day. Yeah, this is enough for the day. Y'all gonna have to come catch me on Rumble. We gotta get into these Jackson T's, girl. This is a lot. But you won't know unless you give it a try. You think he got slim? You think he got slim? Y'all know slim was the, the ugly one, the skinny one, the, the lead singer. Y'all think he got slim? Oh, my God. Girl, if I ask you to trust me, that nigga. This was a powerful live and not in a good way. This was a powerful live. I ain't gonna lie. This was powerful. This was powerful. But you won't know. That's what he meant when he said that. <gasps> That's what he meant. When he said, but you won't know unless you give it a try. Oh! I didn't know that. But you won't know unless you give it a try. Oh, Lord Jesus, come save me now. You hear that, Elizabeth? I'm coming to join you, honey. With 112 and Cupid. Oh, Lord. What? <laughs> I didn't know that's what... Peaches and cream. <gasps> Peaches and cream. <gasps> Ooh. I like it because you know that I'm a fiend. That's right. Getting busy in Diddy Limousine. <gasps> it's even better when it's with ice cream. Oh, Lord, that mean to come. Oh. Know what I mean? Peaches and cream. Oh, my God. Oh, my. Oh, Lord. Oh. Oh. Oh, my God. Oh. Oh, Lord. Uh, uh, oh my god. 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 This is this is too much for me today. I've had enough. Um, the rumble link is pinned to the top of the chat, even though what we, I'm gonna go ahead on and get up out of here. Um, you guys, the rumble link is pinned to the top of the chat. This is too much for me to bear tonight. I can't, this is too much for me to bear. I wasn't prepared to take on all of this. You know what I'm saying? All at one time. Oh, God, Jesus. You guys like the video if you haven't already, first and foremost. Secondly, shout out to everybody who sent me a cash app, girl. This is this is a time. Thank you, Gina, for the cash app. She says, thank you, Voodoo. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, only one Miss T. Miss T, thank you. Salute, Queen. Thank you so much. I appreciate you, Queen. Thank you, Miss Bennett, to you for loving Hip Hop Miami Review. I got Love and Hip Hop Atlanta coming up now, girl. 
Oh my God. Thank you, China doll. I appreciate you, my love. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, da, da, da. Jelly Belly. She said, been on you this. Sorry. My, uh, oh, don't worry about it. Thank you, Jelly Belly. I appreciate your support. Liking the video is support enough for me. And also, thank you, Tension Be Gone, for Good Morning Coffee. That was from this morning. You guys, I appreciate you. I'm going in the bushes and weep. But meet me down there at the uh at the rumble place for seven o'clock, y'all. I'm going to I have to go in the bushes and weep. I have to. I'm not gonna be I'm not gonna be able to do anything else. I have to go into the bushes and weep, okay? Between Philly, you know, in the arms of an angel. We're gonna get together and we got Operation T D, Operation MJ, and we're gonna have to put Operation Philly on here. And we might even have to do a Diddy one, girl. I don't have enough resources, but I feel like together, uh, you know, uh, fingers alone, stand alone. But if you put them together, we can form a mighty fist. That's what the lady said on on, on uh, Soul Food. You know what I'm saying? But when you put them together, we can form a mighty fist. And I think that people, Negroes in America, we need to get together and form a fist. Okay? Because that's the only thing. We got to fight. We have to fight. We have to fight because the enemy is coming in all forms at this point. We have to fight. Even the environment is an enemy. We got to we gotta form a mighty fist, you guys. I appreciate every single one of y'all. Catch me over there on Rumble. The link pinned to the top of the chat. Let me joke y'all up out of here because I got to go in the bush and weep. I'm not going to be no good. I'm going to have to go in the bushes and weep. I love y'all. Thank y'all. One, two, one, two. We live, baby. Come, come, come on. <laughs> That's right. Okay. Can you, can, you, can you hear me now? Oh, let's go. <laughs> it's your boy, Big Chew. The voice of the beat. You know what I want. Blaze up. Come on, Blaze. It's a beat for me. Wah, 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 w